Welcome back. So we're keeping the cheese theme going last week. You saw the first part of our Chicago road trip as we welcome new viewers in the Windy City. Hi, Chicagoland. So during that trip to Chicago, we drove through obviously Wisconsin. And when you're in Wisconsin, obviously you are required to visit a roadside cheese store. So here's what happened when our crew decided to pull over and visit the cheese chalet in the forest. <laughs> Just north of De Madison. Look. Guys, I noticed that your cow has a speaker. Does it make sound? So apparently it used to speak. And then something happened with like the box when they were trying to fix it. So she just remains unspoken and nobody has heard her voice. <laughs> so the legend goes she spoke for a while. The cow spoke. And then no one could fix her, so she has remained unspoken to this day. But there is a speaker. Is it in her mouth? It's, it's like, like under her chin. Oh, okay. What I want from you is your voice. Uh, we are here at my favorite cheese store on the way to Chicago. Their most popular. Cheese is the seven year age chunner. Come here, you gotta see. Come look at this Oh. Oh, this is like a dream. I think we should get some of that seven year age cheddar. They said it's their favorite or their most popular. Does that come in like this? Let's get some. Don't you think we should we should get some of that? Oh. oh. Jason. We used to eat bleep on a shingle with dried beef. Praline fudge? What? It's a football of meat. Oh my god. It is a football of meat. Jeff, go on. Remember I lettered in football. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put it on rice. Right. Uh, no, Mary. <laughs> Try not to laugh too hard. Hi, Phil. <laughs> Can you, I wonder if one of our friends can heat that up for Jeff. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get it just a couple. Right. We're never gonna eat all of Get the this. plain white traditional. Yeah, you gotta eat the little. Okay, just in case this isn't enough curdage, there's more cheese curds in the next deli. <laughs> so we have pure cheese curds, garlic dill, cherry wood smoked string cheese whips. This was my nickname in elementary school. <laughs> Sissy the cow. Stop. Is that a mug? It's a cow and a cat. It's a cow and a cat. There's a lot of sissies. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. It's a canned Sissy the cow. All, how much do you think we should get if we, we for all this to have like a piece of like a half pound? What do you oh, think, or a pound? We just need a little. What? Yeah. I don't know. Know. Can you? Do you have any cut up, or can you cut a bunch of it up, kind of like in cubes? I mean, I can cut up cubes. Perfect. Oh, let's do that. Are then... you breaking the law? Because it says, <laughs> please do not ask me, do not cut. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. No, no, that's like slicing. We don't do the slicing. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't want to have you. I'm sorry. No, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. So. You... You cute, but you don't slice it. Okay, because the slicing is like a different thing. Like, you gotta have the machines do the yeah. slicing. Yeah. Let's do a quarter so pound. So, let me get this right. Do you have cheese cube cutting technology back there? Yeah, I sold a big knife. So. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, look. You can slice cheese now. <laughs> the cheese slicer. Okay. The truth is, I know how to slice cheese, but I'm not telling anybody. Uh, no. Oh, God! <laughs> I, and 
Ty, this is a blanket statement to everyone we encountered in the states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois. We are very sorry we annoyed you on that trip, uh, especially those teenagers who Kendall looked at me. Kendall goes, those girls wanted nothing to do with yep, you. Yep, couldn't no. care less. Mm -mm. They were very nice, though. They yes. put up with us. That was so great. Look, oh, we are just getting started with these adventures. We have more road trip stories in the weeks ahead. Plus, see what happens when we went on the Chicago architectural tour. Uh, you're going to find out what happens when we go to Wrigley uh, Field for the very first time and more. Uh, that's coming up in the months ahead. But right now, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Back in a moment.